Good afternoon everybody, Nelka here again and today we will answer another question from our friends in Facebook. His name is Mr. Mr. Kapil Sharma. He he said, Hello Nelka, I am following your YouTube channel for learning dialogues and I want to calculate vertical and horizontal illuminance for my project but I am unable to produce result. My project is illumination design for an open rectangular surface like football or valuable ground. Please help me out. All right, so Mr. Kapil is looking for a horizontal and vertical calculation like for football or valuable. Okay, so um, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe now so you will not miss any amazing tutorial like this. Uh, again, so let's answer now Mr. Kapil Sharma's uh, question or uh, problem. I will use the regular dialogues uh, at first and then second the dialogues Evo to solve his problem about vertical and horizontal elimination. Okay, so let's now open first the dialogues regular, the red one. So this is the regular 4.13, the red dialogues. Um, Kapil, you need to go to the exterior project directly and then you need to go to the object tab at the bottom and you will go and select the sports facilities because you want a volleyball or a football field. So let's go and say let's try the soccer field because we don't have football here. It's a counterpart for the soccer in uh, US, uh, sorry, in Europe. So let's go and try this one. Let's go and insert it. Okay, so this is now um, a soccer field. You can also select the volleyball if you like. And you can see now that there are two uh, calculation surface for this uh, soccer field. The one is for the TA and the other one is for the PA. And you must understand that the TA is the total area for playing and the PA is the playing ground. And you can see my uh, ground, ground plane is much smaller. So let's go and edit that one. Go and click to that select object and then scale it. Yep, you can scale it like this or you can extend it if you like. I'm just going to make it like this one just for this uh, presentation purposes. Okay, so now this is my football field and you can see that there, these calculation points are in horizontal. So if you want to edit that one, just go and select it. Now I'm uh, selecting the, what is this? TA. You can see at the uh, description here. Let me go and stretch it more. Yes, so see soccer field one calculation grid TA. And if I select the other one, it says PA. Okay, and if you go to the plan view, you'll see those PA is just inside the uh, football court or football line. While the PA or the TA is, uh, it has something that outside. Because some of the players go outside of the line. So that is the total playing area. Well, the TA is the total playing area. Total area and playing area. <laughs> okay, and you, when you click that one, let's go try for example this... Um, PA there is one tab here calculation grid you can edit that one if you like and then the measuring grid yes and then when you scroll a little this little arrow here there's a calculation here and then you will see that there is perpendicular and there is horizontal and vertical so just check the horizontal and the vertical and you can see that uh, once you check the vertical it goes automatic automatically to one meter height uh, calculation point it means that that vertical is measuring on the calculation point okay I must warn you uh, Kapil that there are three types of vertical calculation one is a vertical on a surface the other one is a vertical on the grid points and the other one is the vertical on the camera camera point so if you have camera location, you also calculate the vertical based on that camera location. And for example, you are not 
uh, working on a football field with a camera option then this vertical is fine enough okay this means that this vertical every point is calculating on a vertical so it will goes and ask for the total average for the vertical okay you might not understand that one but just check that one and then you will get the result for the vertical and the horizontal okay you can also change the height for this one let's say 1.2 meters maybe some of your players wants is higher and want to calculate it in 1.2 because sometimes they change it into 1.2 depends on the client uh, but the default is one meter for the vertical okay so just check that one horizontal and vertical and you can see the report that it, you have uh, vertical and horizontal I will show you one of my project this is a golf course project and uh, if you calculate that one you will see that it you will receive a report like this i'm going to show it to you uh, this is the position yep okay see this one this is for the whole number two and you can see there's a horizontal calculation report and another one is the vertical calculation oh where's my vertical Oh, this is for the teeing ground. Let's should go. We should we should see it in the fa fair way, not in the teeing ground. Okay, let's go. Yeah, see this one. We are now here in the fair way. So we have horizontal and vertical. See, if you click those two, that the one I told you, this one, one and two, horizontal and vertical, you will see that this report will be look like this. So horizontal is 60, 66 lakhs on the average and it's in the zero ground lane while the vertical here is uh, 21 lakhs and it's on the one meter height lane okay then if you have camera you can have a camera here with a height of for example if you are in the stadium then it's higher and you will see it there so you can add camera in your um, calculation report if you must right if you want you can check this one and then you can add your camera height let's say five meters okay and then you will get another report for the camera but you need to make sure that you position your camera adding the camera camera for a sports field if you want to know that one and if you want to learn that one go and enroll in my udemy course about football lighting design techniques and i will teach you how to place and calculate a vertical using camera okay so that's it and for the uh Dilux evo of course you can also do that okay let's just try this one it's already open uh the one i told you you can have three types of vertical illumination or vertical calculation report one is the one in the surface like what i mentioned you can have a vertical using on a vertical calculation using on the surface on the vertical uh, let's just use this wall for example i will put a calculation surface here boom 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 let's just make it for example i want to calculate this side yes and then let's say there is an option here in the calculation parameters the default again is horizontal illuminance and i don't like it so i'll go for this vertical illuminance you see it's changed the arrows that is the the orientation of the eye or the person looking at the light so i'll uncheck this one so make sure it is highlighted or pressed and then rotate this arrow accordingly because nobody's looking on that side of the wall so try 270 perfect this is the one orienting to that orienting to that vertical so that is correct okay the other horse uh, the other vertical that i'm saying is to uh, to have it in the ground let's say i'll put another calculation surface here for example let's just imagine this is a it's a what it's a football area so i'll go again to the vertical boom and then i'll say and check this one and you can see now that the arrow is there okay what what wh wherever the location of your audience you can place that one and you can increase that into the position of for example this is uh yeah you make it higher 
higher let's make it more higher yeah okay so it's higher than the ground and you can see the grid you can also edit the grid if you like so go to the value <coughs> by the um, measuring grid parameters and you can set the distance into say two by two meters and you can see the difference now of the grid so it is now calculating the vertical on every point you can also do this one but <clears throat> just for your information if you're working on a sports uh, lighting design project go and use the red dialux instead the evo because the dialux red is much better in calculating sports lighting okay so that's it for now and i hope you learned something today and um yep so Kapi kapil sharma i hope you learned something today and if you want to learn more like what i mentioned uh go and visit my udemy course about the sports lighting yeah it's here football lighting design using camera and then uh yeah it's very cheap you can enroll at one and then you can also again subscribe to my youtube channel you can also visit my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com for more tips and tricks and online tutorials live and of course check my linkedin and facebook page for more information and lighting design tips and tricks okay so see you again on the next video bye